somewhere, far away in the boundless reaches of the universe, there is a region of space so large and empty that defies imagination, a cosmic void. This vast expanse stretches across a billion light years with scarcely a trace of matter. Mounting evidence suggests that we are likely floating within a cosmic void of about the same size. This region is incredibly vast, enormous beyond words, although in truth, language falls short of capturing the magnitude of this nothingness. It is within these voids that the true nature of the universe's structure and evolution can be discerned. Moreover, Earth, our home planet, is quite insignificant in the grand scheme of things. Once believed to occupy the hallowed center of the universe, our planet is now known to be just one among billions upon billions. In the depths of the night, as we gaze at the stars, we see galaxies, constellations, and celestial beauty. However, we seldom consider the immense voids that lie between them. Cosmic voids, vast regions of seemingly empty space, are some of the most enigmatic and fascinating structures in the universe. Though they may appear barren, these voids hold crucial information about the large-scale structure and evolution of the cosmos. By sheer volume, most of our universe is simply nothing. And when it comes to understanding the universe, this nothing holds immense power. This emptiness possesses a secret influence that subtly shapes the distribution of galaxies and the movement of cosmic matter. Therefore, one should not ask, is there any void? But rather, is there anything apart from the void? Our home galaxy, the Milky Way, is just one of billions in our universe. It resides within a complex environment shaped by various cosmic structures, including nearby voids. Understanding our place in the universe requires an appreciation of the intricate interplay between these structures. Evidence suggests that our galaxy is inside a cosmic void, a vast expanse of relatively empty space. The surprising aspect is that, according to the laws of cosmology, such a giant void shouldn't exist in the first place. The cosmological principle, a fundamental theory of cosmology, posits that matter in the universe should be uniformly distributed on very large scales. This principle underpins many of our cosmological models and the understanding of the universe's structure. However, multiple observations over the past decade suggest that matter in the universe may clump into regions of high and low densities, meaning it may not be as uniform as previously thought. To understand voids, we need to zoom out far beyond the solar system, the Milky Way, and even beyond the groups and clusters of galaxies nearby. We need to zoom out so far that entire galaxies, each with hundreds of millions of stars, look like tiny dots of light. At this vast scale, an amazing structure emerges. Galaxies are not scattered randomly. Instead, they form the largest pattern in nature. We see dense clusters with thousands of galaxies and long, thin strands connecting these clusters, like highways with galaxies along them. These strands come together to form broad, immense walls, the regions that contain the typical cosmic mean density of matter. We call this vast structure the cosmic web. It's made of galaxies, much like your body is made of cells, but scaled to an unimaginable level. Voids now occupy over 80% of the universe's volume, but hold less than a tenth of its mass. The bright stars and galaxies of the cosmic web highlight the edges of these vast, empty regions. These cosmic voids dominate the universe, meaning most of it is nearly empty. Within these voids, you might find a few small, dim dwarf galaxies and a thin mix of radiation and particles. Yet they remain largely empty, devoid of significant structures or matter. The seeds of voids were planted in the earliest moments of the universe, even before the first stars and galaxies. Billions of years ago, the matter in the universe was almost perfectly uniform, with only tiny, random differences. Just a millionth more matter here, or a millionth less there. However, within this uniformity, there existed minute, random fluctuations, tiny variations where there was a slightly higher concentration of matter in one place and slightly less in another. These minuscule differences played a pivotal role in the formation of structures we observe today. 
As the universe aged, these differences grew. Gravity, though weak, is persistent and patient. Regions with a bit more matter had a slightly stronger gravitational pull, attracting more matter and emptying their surroundings. As more matter gathered, the gravitational pull grew stronger, and the surroundings emptied even more. Over hundreds of millions of years, the cosmic web began to form, first as small clumps that ignited the birth of earliest stars, then as small galaxies that merged together, eventually forming the great clusters of galaxies, the filaments, and the walls. The cosmic web represents the grandest pattern discovered in nature, extending throughout the entirety of the universe. It forms an immense and expansive structure, almost overpowering in scale, yet its appearance is delicate and fragile, like fine strands of silk. As the cosmic web flourished, so too did the voids. They began as small, subtle dips in the otherwise uniform fabric of the universe. Over time, these voids expanded as their contents gravitated towards larger, luminous structures. Cosmic voids are akin to holes in the universe, resembling gaps in Swiss cheese or the openings in a spider's web. It stretches hundreds of millions of light years across. These voids are the true deserts of the cosmos, almost entirely devoid of matter. This emptiness holds a mysterious influence. In the late 1990s, when astronomers discovered that the universe's expansion was accelerating, that instead of slowing down under gravitational pull, as expected, it's speeding up. This phenomenon, confirmed by multiple experiments, is attributed to dark energy. Dark energy remains an enigma. Scientists speculate it's a fundamental property of space-time itself, driving universal expansion. Locally, however, its effects are masked by the gravitational pull of stars, gas, dust, and other matter in our vicinity. But in the voids, there's nothing to counteract dark energy's influence. They expand relentlessly, pushing against the surrounding filaments and walls, perpetuating their growth. On a grand scale, the universe resembles a sponge, with voids dominating its vast expanse. Some voids span hundreds of millions of light years in diameter. To study these voids, astronomers rely on optical and radio telescopes to search for any signs of matter within them. Superclusters of galaxies and voids are frequently studied in tandem, as they are thought to share a common evolutionary history and dynamics. Our own Milky Way galaxy lies in a void called the KBC Void, or Local Hole. Other notable cosmic voids that have been discovered and studied in detail, providing valuable insights into the nature of the universe, include the Southern Local Supervoid and the Eridanus Supervoid. However, none is as big as the Botas Supervoid. Sometimes called the Great Nothing or the Great Void, the Botas Void is a spherical region located approximately 700 million light years away from Earth in the constellation Bootas. Bootas is depicted as the herdsman in Greek mythology. The Botas Void stretches across an immense area spanning 330 million light years, distinguishing it as the largest known void in the universe. Despite its vast size, it harbors very few galaxies, approximately 60, clustered within a tube-shaped region at its center. Typically, a region of this size would host around 2,000 galaxies. Surrounding the Bodas Void are several superclusters including Ursa Major, Shapley, Hercules, and Corona Borealis. Why is it so empty? Apart from dark energy which we discussed earlier, the regions where galaxies cluster together, such as in galaxy clusters or groups, are significantly influenced by the life cycles of stars and the presence of supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. These supermassive black holes, also known as active galactic nuclei, AGN, play a crucial role in shaping their surroundings. Supernovae are explosive events that occur when massive stars reach the end of their lives. These explosions release enormous amounts of energy, including shockwaves and high-energy particles, into the surrounding interstellar medium. The energy and momentum from supernovae can heat up the surrounding gas and drive it outward, preventing it from collapsing under its own gravity to form new stars or galaxies. This process, known as supernova feedback, 
regulates the rate of star formation within galaxies and can extend its influence into the surrounding intergalactic medium. AGNs, powered by supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies, also play a crucial role in regulating the growth and evolution of galaxies. These black holes can accrete large amounts of gas and dust from their surroundings, releasing tremendous amounts of energy in the form of radiation and powerful jets of particles. This AGN activity can heat up and ionize the gas in their vicinity, affecting the formation of new stars and influencing the dynamics of the interstellar and intergalactic medium. In the context of cosmic voids as a whole, where galaxies are sparse or absent, the lack of such energetic feedback mechanisms can have profound implications. Without the heating and disruption caused by supernovae and AGNs, the gas in voids may remain relatively cool and undisturbed. As a result, there may be insufficient energy to prevent the gas from simply diffusing away or remaining in a state that does not promote the formation of new galaxies. Therefore, the absence of significant supernova and AGN feedback in cosmic voids can contribute to their observed emptiness and lack of dense galaxy clusters or structures. Within the vast expanse of a void like Botus, gravitational forces play a crucial role in the distribution of matter. In regions where the density of matter is lower, gravitational attraction is weaker. This can result in slower or less efficient formation of galaxies, clusters, and other cosmic structures compared to denser regions. As a result, voids may remain relatively empty over cosmic timescales, because the gravitational pull needed to pull matter together into dense structures is insufficient. Moreover, the ongoing expansion of the universe further complicates matters. Cosmic expansion stretches space itself, causing regions with lower initial densities, like voids, to expand more quickly than regions with higher densities, like galaxy clusters. This expansion can further hinder the gravitational collapse and clustering of matter within voids, perpetuating their emptiness over billions of years. Therefore, a combination of weaker gravitational forces and the expansive nature of the universe itself likely contributes to why cosmic voids such as the Bhutas void remain so sparsely populated with galaxies and matter. The concept of the Bhutas void as an exceptionally large and empty region in space invites speculation. Does this perplexing structure align with Nikolai Kardashev's 1962 theory on advanced alien civilizations and their activities? Could it have potentially hosted a hyper-intelligent extraterrestrial species? In the context of the Buddha's void, we can draw parallels to urban development dynamics on Earth. Imagine the void as a neighborhood that, in the distant past, may have witnessed bustling activity and utilization of its resources. Just as civilizations on Earth have developed and consumed resources over time, so too might advanced civilizations have once flourished within the void. They could have tapped into its energy reservoirs and utilized its resources, analogous to how humans have utilized Earth's resources for millennia. As time passed and resources within the void were exhausted or rendered obsolete, any advanced civilizations that once thrived there may have moved on or diminished, leaving behind a vast expanse that appears desolate and empty to us today. This perspective allows us to speculate on the potential history and life cycle of civilizations within cosmic voids, considering both their rise and eventual decline or departure. The existence of the Buddhist void challenges fundamental theories about the large-scale structure and distribution of matter in the universe. It somehow contradicts the cosmological principle which posits a smooth and homogeneous distribution of matter on the largest scales when viewed over sufficient distances. This enormous void spans hundreds of millions of light years, far exceeding what current models can easily explain. Its existence suggests structural complexities that current theories struggle to accommodate. Some hypotheses propose that such remarkably empty regions may highlight gaps in our understanding of dark matter and its gravitational influence on cosmic scales. While not impossible to form from early universe density fluctuations, the extreme emptiness of the void makes it a statistically improbable anomaly that prompts numerous questions.
Cosmic voids represent the most enduring time capsules in the cosmos, remaining largely unchanged over billions of years. Defined by their sparse matter content, these voids provide a pristine and unparalleled environment for studying dark energy. Within these vast expanses lie answers to numerous cosmological mysteries. As cosmological laboratories, they offer insights into the fundamental nature of dark matter and dark energy, reveal details about the ancient universe, and provide crucial information on the formation of galaxies. Thus, our greatest insights into the universe's mysteries may only be uncovered through careful exploration and study of these expansive regions of emptiness. In the distant future, the cosmic web, adorned with galaxies, filaments, and walls, will gradually unravel. Filaments will thin out as voids expand, squeezing them into oblivion. Walls will fade away. Clusters will endure, but become isolated islands in a vast emptiness. But before this distant future arrives, there's urgent work to be done. Dark energy permeates all of space-time, but its effects are most detectable within voids. Understanding this mysterious force, which dictates the universe's fate, requires focusing beyond galaxies and clusters. Their powerful gravitational pull masks dark energy's subtle influence. Instead, attention turns to the silent expanses of voids. Voids hold keys to unlocking dark energy secrets. Their growth, shapes, and distribution reveal insights into dark energy's strength and evolution. By meticulously mapping cosmic voids, scientists hope to unravel the elusive properties of dark energy and compare findings with theoretical models. Moreover, cosmic voids act as timeless archives. While galaxies evolve, stars are born, die, and matter shifts, voids remain serene, empty spaces, largely unchanged over billions of years. Although the void appears completely dark to our eyes, Solving its mysteries could paradoxically shine a light on outstanding problems in our theories of the universe's evolution, structure, and perhaps even the nature of the elusive dark matter itself. The vast nothingness may contain hidden insights into cosmic something we are yet to understand. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.